my gut, my spirit. The last few months, I've, I've told you this, but intensifying. Evil's being let out of the pit right now. I, I can feel it rising. And I can also feel good rising in the spirit of God coming back into the world as well. We are in very dangerous waters. And people like Donald Trump are only one manifestation of what's going on. He's obviously a guy, an alpha male that likes prosperity, loves this country. Uh, I think he's got a lot of worldly issues and problems, don't we all? But people that got a lot of good also have a lot of bad. Our enemies are the people that don't have hardly any good but have a bunch of bad. And... I don't enjoy getting up here and attacking people like Glenn Beck. Let's get that straight. But when I see manifest smoking evil, the guy's on fire with sniveling evil. Just at a spiritual level, I can see him, and I can see all of his fruits, and it's just a, a prancing demon, a Nelly feminine con artist preying on people, and it makes me want to throw up. And I'll just be honest with you. And I love Christ, and I have a relationship with God, and I know that there's a spiritual battle going on, and I know my best works like dirty rags, and I, I do have the Holy Spirit. I feel God constantly. It's very humbling. And as the evil intensifies, I get more discernment, more focus, more intelligence that God gives me. That's what the Bible says it'll do. And I am constantly almost in tears because I can feel the presence of God, and I know how worldly I am, and it's like being naked and ashamed. And I see all these proud, evil men, they will fall. They will be broken. And I, I'm not sure what's coming in the future, but everybody feels it, everybody sees it. All I can tell you is everybody better get right with God. And all these people out there that think this is funny, you're not going to think it's funny very soon. We have been insulated in this country because of our ancestors who weren't perfect, but they were the best there were from every corner of the world. We were the new world. But we were the most inventive and the most freedom ever allowed did happen here for a short time. So great wealth and blessing was brought to us because of the free thinkers that set up this country. And now we've been turned into an engine of abomination. And all I ask is God to spare my children and I mean, we live in a country where they kill babies and sell their body parts and where they do put chemicals in the water to brain damage you and your family and cause infertility. That's just the start. Do you understand? We live in a country with thousands of aircraft flying around spraying poison on us and mothers that talk about it get arrested and have their kids taken in Colorado. It's going to get a lot worse, folks. They're coming for everybody. Do you understand that? And what's sad is they want to force you to submit to their evil because they want your soul. They want your will. They want you to willingly turn yourself over to it. And that's how a coward dies a thousand deaths is they convince themselves that the evil is good and lie to themselves and accept the evil as if it's not bad because they're so scared of the truth deep down. They decide to have a great delusion. They decide to become mentally ill. And they decide to believe that the evil is good and that the good is evil. I mean, Glenn Beck famously let them put chemicals in his eyes. What was it for an Esquire cover story? Was it Esquire or was it? Yeah, it was, it was Esquire. You can look it up. Just type Glenn Beck crying. And he joked about it on video, knowing it would go out that he was fake to let the system know I'm fake, I'm a fraud, I'll let the liberals know I'm a fraud and make fun of conservatives and patriots and Christians, but my own audience wants to believe in me so they won't see it. Signaling that I'm a traitor, I'm a piece of filth, promote me, I'll lead these people down a rat hole. And he was so dishonorable and so rat-like, even News Corp threw him out, not wanting to be around something like that. Because even though News Corp's corrupt, there's not a problem, still powerful men still want to be around honor. Even though they hate it, they've sold out, they're guilty, and they hate it. Believe me, I know them.
But this little son of a bitch loves it. Excuse me, God. He loves betraying people. He gets off on it. He's committed to Satan. Oh, hate that guy right there. Yeah, he says, I'm scary. You bet I'm scary, buddy. Because I'm only one one billionth of what you're going to face at the white throne judgment. The dishonor of these people is so manifest. I just, I, I just want to get away from them. I can't look at them anymore. It's how they enjoy lying to people. They enjoy dishonor. I just, even tuning into their spirit, even picking up on how they are, empathizing, you know, to, uh, it's, it's, it's just, it's horrible. It's horrible. These are predators against their own species. And I don't hate them. It's a feeling in the last few years I never had before. It's beyond that. I want to be apart from them. I want to be in another dimension for them. I want them to go be with their own kind. They call that place hell. And to be there forever. Away from me and my family and other kindred spirits that want to be with God. It's that simple. It's a choice these people make. They make their own hell. They make, and I don't want to get religious here, folks, or spiritual, but the point is, I, I sit there and I look at these abominations, these, these demonic creatures. They almost see a tail and horns on that guy. I mean, he is so freaking evil. I mean, I have to control myself constantly not to cry on air. I never used to cry maybe once every two or three years on air when I talk about family or some story. I saw some story about bass and hounds with this baby that's de brain dead. But I had to realize, I said, I can't cover that story on air before I went on air because I'll start crying. Because of the, of the, the humanity that's gone from us, but these dogs have this love, this commitment. It's everything in the universe. And these sociopaths and psychopaths think a dog loving a brain dead child that it loved when it wasn't brain dead from a stroke. They think it's weakness in the dog. No, you're the weak people, you sociopaths and psychopaths. You're the people that never scale the heights of love and honor, that never have the dreams. You don't care about other people, you fools. And you prance around and claim that you care about other people. When you hate them and want to dominate them and see them hurt because it makes you feel bigger. I don't need to pray against Glenn Beck or even curse him. You cursed yourself. I know you must have had a horrible childhood. You claim you did, but it's all lies and suicide parents, all this darkness, but probably real. You're a creation of this planet, and you're just more pathetic, scared wreckage. And in your own delusion, you really think when you're in that fantasy land that you are a soldier of Christ your delusion is so great. But that's only a garment you put on. In your heart, you know who you are when the lights go off. And I see you, Glenn Beck and Ted Cruz. And I'm ashamed that my gut told me Ted Cruz was an evil robot, but I still just hoped and dreamed and was lied to. But I'm done ranting about you. I want to go to this clip, and then I'll get to the other news. Let's go ahead and your TV viewer, for radio listeners, the clip's up on Infowars.com. I'll play it now. Let's go from Right Wing Watch, the establishment that got this to make fun of Christians and discredit us, White House run, uh, putting this out, again, with their own operative to discredit the liberty movement. Here he is. I believe that's the Almighty God saying, each one of you, I want you to stand and you choose good or evil. Which way will we go? Before I walked out on stage, Ted and I got down on our knees and we prayed. And we didn't pray, we didn't pray for us. We prayed for the nation and for you. He is a servant at heart. He is a man who was raised for these times. Yeah. If God raised George Washington and Ben Franklin and Thomas Jefferson and Thomas Paine, if he put that collection Donald together... Donald Trump is a servant raised up by the devil. Almighty, I, I know a servant when I see one. 
I, I, and at first, our computer was playing it fast. That wasn't on purpose. We we're trying to make it sound like a chipmunk for 10 seconds. Uh, I don't mean to get emotional watching that. It, it, it's just that I think the jury's partially out on Donald Trump. My gut tells me he's for real, but he can be manipulated. But the reason they hate him is they know he's his own person, a nationalist and doesn't like us having bad deals, and that he thinks he can save America for his big ego and his own family. Well, you know, that's natural and normal. But Glenn Beck, I know Glenn Beck far too well. And, and when you've got ABC TV saying make America great again is what militias do when they blow up schools, just made up, and you've got the whole media and all these criminal groups and all these Ford Foundation groups targeting Donald Trump and myself and everybody else and, and trying to sell this big lie that we're racist and we're horrible because we've got to have some border and some fair trade deals. It's crazy. It's an attempt to defeat logic and to bring in an age of total insanity. And, you know, I've got Ted Cruz clips here saying he's helping on a miracle. He seeks divine intervention in Indiana. <sighs> Forget Donald Trump. It's, it's the battle of nationalism versus these globalists. And look at the company Glenn Beck keeps, Previs, and the Republican leadership, and the Democrats, and George Will in the Washington Post saying, we decide we are sovereign. You don't, your vote doesn't count as an individual. We need to suspend it and give it to Hillary. I mean, that's what he said. I read the quote like seven times yesterday. In fact, will somebody run that in if you haven't? Hey, listen, there was never any voting. We're sovereign. We run the country. We're the party. Sit down and shut up. Here's Glenn Beck. He says that, you know, it's good against evil and the, the devil's raised up a serpent uh, over here. We know the devil's raised up Hillary Clinton, who you're saying we should go for, Glenn Beck, over Donald Trump. Give me a break. We know she's a bona fide witch, literal devil worshiper. And you sit there and you point your finger at Donald Trump and say he's the devil? I'm going to stop. I got to get off him. Let's just get off. He's too evil. I can't. In fact, I don't even look at him because he's so evil. Just get him. I, I can't look at him. It's like Obama. <sighs> God help me. And notice he's on a suicide mission against liberty. Doesn't matter if he loses 60% of his audience and everything and the stations he's on start going bankrupt and everything else. He doesn't care. He's got to stop Donald Trump. He's got to stop the nationalists. He's got to stop the patriots. They've had the Pentagon and the State Department come back out again and say that uh, there were no, Obama never said that there wouldn't be boots on the ground in uh, Syria. He only said it 16 times on video. And then now they've come out and, and, and said that uh, there's no Al-Qaeda, uh, you know, in al Nusra or ISIS. And now they go, no, actually it is there and it's better it's there because we like them. You can't fool an honest man. You can't con an honest man. That's one of the best sayings ever. My late uncle always said that, Buckley's dad. Because our brains just don't work like yours. All this mentally ill con artist bull just sticks right out. You people are a joke. You think it's smart? You can lie and twist? That's not smart. That's dumb. You're lying to yourself. I can see him, and I can see all of his fruits, and it's just a, a prancing demon. A Nelly feminine con artist preying on people and it makes me want to throw up and I'll just be honest with you and I love Christ and I have a relationship with God and I know that there's a spiritual battle going on I know my best works like dirty rags and I I do have the Holy Spirit I feel God constantly it's very humbling and as the evil intensifies I get more discernment more focus more intelligence that God gives me that's what the Bible says it'll do and I am constantly almost in tears because I can feel the presence of God and I know how worldly I am, and it's like being naked and ashamed. And I see all these proud, evil men, they will fall. They will be broken. And I, I'm not sure what's coming in the future, but everybody feels it. Everybody sees it. All I can tell you is everybody better get right with God. And all these people out there that think, my gut, my spirit, the last few months, I've, I've told you this, but intensifying, Evil's being let out of the pit right now. I, I can feel it rising. And I can also feel good rising in the spirit of God.
coming back into the world as well. We are in very dangerous waters. And people like Donald Trump are only one manifestation of what's going on. He's obviously a guy, an alpha male that likes prosperity, loves this country. Uh, I think he's got a lot of worldly issues and problems, don't we all? But people that got a lot of good also have a lot of bad. Our enemies are the people that don't have hardly any good but have a bunch of bad. And I don't enjoy getting up here and attacking people like Glenn Beck. Let's get that straight. But when I see manifest smoking evil, the guy's on fire with sniveling evil. Just at a spiritual level like this is funny, you're not going to think it's funny very soon. We have been insulated in this country because of our ancestors who weren't perfect, but they were the best there were from every corner of the world. We were the new world. But we were the most inventive and the most freedom ever allowed did happen here for a short time. So great wealth and blessing was brought to us because of the free thinkers that set up this country. And now we've been turned into an engine of abomination. And all I ask is God to spare my children. And I mean, we live in a country where they kill babies and sell their body parts and where they do put chemicals in the water to brain damage you and your family and cause infertility. That's just the start. Do you understand? We live in a country with thousands of aircraft flying around spraying poison on us. It would go out that he was fake. To let the system know I'm fake, I'm a fraud, I'll let the liberals know I'm a fraud and make fun of conservatives and patriots and Christians, but my own audience wants to believe in me so they won't see it. signaling that I'm a traitor, I'm a piece of filth, promote me, I'll lead these people down a rat hole. And he was so dishonorable and so rat-like, even News Corp threw him out, not wanting to be around something like that. Because even though News Corp's corrupt, there's a lot of problems, still powerful men still want to be around honor. Even though they hate it, they've sold out, they're guilty, and they hate it. Believe me, I know them. But this little son of a bitch loves it, excuse me, God. He loves betraying people. He gets off on it. He's committed to Satan. Oh, I hate that guy right there. Yeah, he says, I'm scary. You bet I'm scary, buddy. Because I'm only one, one. And mothers that talk about it get arrested and have their kids taken in Colorado. It's going to get a lot worse, folks. They're coming for everybody. Do you understand that? And what's sad is they want to force you to submit to their evil. Because they want your soul. They want your will. They want you to willingly turn yourself over to it. That's how a coward dies a thousand deaths is they convince themselves that the evil is good and lie to themselves and accept the evil as if it's not bad because they're so scared of the truth deep down. They decide to have a great delusion. They decide to become mentally ill. And they decide to believe that the evil is good and that the good is evil. I mean, Glenn Beck famously let them put chemicals in his eyes. What was it for an Esquire cover story? Was it Esquire or was it? Yeah, it was, it was Esquire. You can look it up. Just type Glenn Beck crying. And he joked about it on video knowing.